Well, I finally got out on the water. It's uh, July 3rd, and I didn't know they were shooting off fireworks out here tonight. And I'm in Hendersonville. I'm at the creek because I just wanted to go somewhere that I knew, somewhere I could get in and out. It was supposed to stop raining like 3 o'clock this afternoon. And it didn't stop raining until like almost 5. And I, I'm, not, I'm just not fishing in the rain if I don't have to. But I've only got maybe two hours to fish now. So we'll see. Uh, hopefully I can get up here in the creek pretty quick. I got the trolling motor on. As you can probably tell, because look, no hands. And I'm moving. But anyway, and um, I'll get up in the creek and probably start fishing. I'll try to get there and then fish and then come back and just try to get a little bit in. It's pretty discouraging about the weather. I just really thought that it would be supposed to clear it up sooner, that's all. Anyway, all right, I'll keep you updated on what I'm doing. Hopefully I catch at least a couple today. That'd be fun. saw my worm disappear and it just I mean it just took off as in front of this little grass this little grass bed oh my god this is a good fish for this creek this is a good fish might be the biggest one I've ever caught out of this creek. He might be, he's at least a pound and a half. Maybe bigger. He's short, but he's fat. That's a good fish. I think I'm fat. That's a good fish. Let's see. Because I didn't, I didn't, I didn't expect a good fish like this. I got him on the the old yum dinger. Here we go. Let's see. All right, pounds and ounces. Here we go. All right, let's see. I knew that was gonna happen. Right, maybe this one. Oh, he's almost two pounds. Can you see that? 115. No, he's right at two. Again, it's the biggest fish I've caught out of here. I'm sure of it. Positive. Positive this is the biggest fish. Now let's see. Gosh. Alright. Let's see how long he is. Alright, let's see. Calm down now. He's, like I said, he's short. He's kind of stocking. He is right at 15 and a half. 15 and a half, one more look, we're gonna get him in the water so he's still good to go. 15 and a half, two pounder. That's a fat fish. Man, that's beautiful. That's worth the trip right there. That's worth waiting two, three hours for it to stop raining too. <laughs> net. I love this net. Take the Florida with me. This thing collapses. It slides right underneath. I just grab it, I sling it, and it pops right over. It wasn't as smooth this time as when I was down in Florida. I don't even know if y'all are seeing it. I don't know when I'm going to put this video out. I'm so far behind on videos. It's not even funny. Alright, where's my hook? He slung this thing way up the hook. Okay, so I've, I've had this in another video where I got hung up on a, on a bank. Hung up on the bank. 
I don't know if you can even see that from here. So I thought, oh, I'll cast another one. And I know I'm not supposed to do it. But I did it anyway. So now I've got two lines that are hung up. Also, I'm using my little, um, this is that lure I got, or lure, sheesh. This is that little rod and reel combo I got for like 20 bucks. That was the expandable, telescopic, whatever. And I've never caught anything on it, so let's see if we can catch something on it today. Decided to put a weight on it. This time, usually I go weightless with the yum dinger just to give you a little idea what we're looking at here in tennessee right now especially in this nashville area this water is at least a good foot or more lower this pond is usually all the way full every time i've been out here but super low here at the pond i've never seen it this low before hopefully that's not a bad thing for fishing right now we'll see it's so hot i don't know it took away a lot of this super shallow which fish weren't in this anyway but Let's see what we got. Oh crap. Well, <clears throat> after a good 15 to 20 minutes getting out a massive wind knot and retying, I'm gonna go back to fishing. It'll be dark soon. <laughs> but I tied on a little micro crank. Um, because, and here it is, I love this little thing. I, um, I don't want to walk back to the truck. I had, uh, I didn't have any hooks that weren't already, you know, like rigged with a weight. So I thought, well, I'll just run something different. Pretty soon I'll be running a, I want to put a frog on anyway. So we'll see this one I can run on top and I can just do a straight retrieve if I want. So I'm gonna get something on this little rod. There are crappie in here. If I had one of my little hooks, I'd rig up one of these little, these little swim baits or something that I have that's more of a minnow. This kind of looks like a fat minnow. So maybe it'll maybe it'll work. We'll see. I just had something swirl on it. I can come back. I may have been too close to the bank. There it Oh, shoot. Mister. Here on this rock. Oh. Oh, crap. Dang it, just missed another one. That was a good hit. Of course, this rod, I don't know. This is pretty flimsy. <laughs> so, could have been a good bluegill. Could have been a crappie. Could have been a tiny bass and would have given this thing a little bit of a workout so let's little bass little bass get up here <laughs> well first one off the new 
little telescopic. Don't bounce on me, dude. There we go. First fish off the telescopic rod and reel. And it's a bass. I will take it, even though he's like, you know, eight inches long, maybe. <laughs> it's a bass. All right, dude, going back in. Here we go. Go shallow. Hopefully, you don't hurt yourself going in the water. There we go. Nice. Nice. All right. A little activity. A little activity. Let's see if we can get another one. Of course, I had not been recording as soon as it hit. Of course, you know that's normal because that's the way it works, I guess. Deer. That's a buck. A buck. Well, I was going to walk through the woods and get on this other side, but that has ticks written all over it, and I don't have any spray on. What's up, buddy? You're a youngin'. 